Hi, this is Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. This is the last video in the three-part video series about Google Classroom. And just to recap, in part 1, we talked about the stream and people pages. While in part 2, we tackled the classwork page. Now this lesson will discuss how we can score the assessments in Google Classroom. We are also going to explore the grades page. Specifically, this lesson will talk about how to use the rubric to grade an assignment and how to return it to the students, how to copy scores from Google Form to Quiz Assignment page for non-registered G Suite users and for registered G Suite users, how to return an individual Google Form of every student with correct and missed answers, both for non-registered and registered G Suite users. We are also going to talk about what's the difference between the two grading systems in Google Classroom. In addition, we'll talk about how to make a grading system in Google Classroom, how to organize or categorize classwork, and we are going to explore the grades page. Now, how do we use the rubric to grade an assignment and how to return it to the students? First step is to go to the classwork page. Expand the assignment. In this example, there are three students who were assigned of the assignment classwork. All of them have turned in their work. Therefore, assigned becomes zero. One is still under turned in since I have not checked it yet. Two works have been checked and graded. Now I would like to show how to grade using the rubric on the remaining turned in work. To do that, click View Assignment. On the next page, click the turned in work of the student you want to check and grade. So in this case, it's Student A's. On the right side, click the file of the student. The Grade Tool page appears on another tab. The work of the student appears on the left. This is where you can read the student's work and where you can put comments. To add comments, highlight the element, let's say this text, then click the add a comment symbol, write your comment, then click comment. The grading tool appears on the right. The advantage of adding rubrics to your assignment is when you are marking the student's work, you can just simply click the points and Google Classroom will add all them up. For example, for the content, I am going to mark the student 35 points. For the mechanics, I'm going to choose 20 points. And for the completion, I'll select 30 points. You may also write private comments. Then click Post. At the upper left side of the page, you will see the score. At the upper right side, click the drop-down arrow. The options are return the submission. This will return a single classwork. Return multiple submissions. This will give you an option to return all unreturned assignments. If you want to return this one document only, you can just simply press the return button. Note that the student will be notified and can check any grade you've left. Then click Return. Now how do we copy scores from Google Form to Quiz Assignment page for non-registered G Suite users? Let's go back to the Classwork page. Expand the Quiz Assignment. Then click View Assignment. On the right side, click the form. Click the Edit This Form symbol or the pencil icon located on the lower right side of the page. At the middle of the screen, select Responses. If you are not expecting students to answer the form anymore 
or if it's already after the due date, disable accepting responses. Under Summary tab, you can see the score of each student and item analysis for each question. The challenge in non-G Suite user is you have to know who owns the email address. As a workaround, you may add a field in the Google form to ask for the student's complete name. But let's say we know the student who used the email address. For example, this email address belongs to student Charles, so his score is 4. We just copy the score then go back to the Google Classroom, then enter the score here. You see that this is the draft score. Do the same for other students. You see that it's a long process and it's prone to error. Now how do we do this in Google Classroom at a registered G Suite school? I have this another account that is registered for G Suite for Education. To import scores from Google Form to Quiz Assignment page for registered G Suite user, we just simply go to Classwork. Expand the Quiz Assignment, then click View Assignment. On the right side of the page, click the Import Grades button. Remember that importing grades will overwrite the current grades in Classroom. Notice that the scores are updated and viewed beside the student name. So there's no need for you to copy-paste from Google Form to the Google Classroom. That's the advantage of having a registered G Suite for Education school. Now how do we return an individual Google Form of every student with correct and missed answers for non-registered G Suite account? Go to the Classwork page. Expand the quiz assignment. Then click the Google Form. Let us make sure first that the complete details will be sent to the student. Let's go to the form. At the upper right side, click the Settings gear. In the pop-up window, click Quizzes tab. Tick the following check boxes, missed questions, correct answers, and point values. After that, click Save. That means when we return the form to the student, he will be able to see his score, the correct and missed questions. Now let's continue. At the middle of the screen, select Responses tab. Under the Summary tab, go to the Scores section. Click Release Scores button. Verify the email addresses that will receive scores. Then click Send Emails and Release. Your students will receive email that contains scores and the correct and missed questions. To record in Google Classroom that you have released the scores, go to the Classwork page, expand the quiz assignment, and click View Assignment. On the left side of the page, select students who you would like to receive scores. For example, I already returned and graded student Ace and student Mike, so the only one left is student Charles. So we simply choose student Charles and click the Return button. On the pop-up window, you will be prompted that the student will be notified and can check any grade you've left. Then click Return. Now how do we do that in a registered G Suite account? I am going to demonstrate how to return an individual Google Form of every student with correct and missed answers on a registered G Suite account. 
First is to go to the Classwork page. Then expand the quiz assignment and click View Assignment. On the right side, click the Google Forms. Let us make sure first that the complete details will be sent to the student. So let's edit this form. At the upper right side, click Settings Gear. In the pop-up window, click Quizzes tab. Put check mark to the following check boxes: missed questions, correct answers, and point values. Click Save. Then go back to the classwork page. On the left side of the page, select the students who you would like to receive scores. And at the top, click the Return button. On the pop-up window, you will be prompted that the students will be notified and can check any grades you've left. Also, scores will be released for students to view in forms. This means that the manual releasing of scores within the Google Forms is eliminated since it is going to be performed in the Google Classroom. Click Return. The good thing about Google Classroom is it has the ability to compute for the overall grading of the student. Now let's talk about what's the difference between the two grading systems in Google Classroom namely total points and weighted by category grading. When we say total points grading, this divides the total points a student earns by the total points possible in the class. For example, a student scored 90 points out of 100 on an essay and 95 points out of 100 on a test. The student earned a total of 185 points out of 200 possible in the class. Divided, this gives an overall grade of 92.5%. The other grading system is called Weighted by Category Grading. This assigns weights or percentages grade categories, and an overall grade is calculated for you. For example, the essay category is 50% and the test category is also 50%. In the essay category, the student averaged 75 Multiplied by the category weight, 50% or 0.5, this gives 37.5% for essays. In the test category, the student averaged 95. Multiplied by the category weight, which is 50% or 0.5, this gives 47.5% for tests. Adding the category scores, which is 37.5 plus 47.5, gives the student an overall grade of 85%. Now, how do we make a grading system in Google Classroom? At the upper right side of the page, click Settings Gear Symbol. Go to the Grading Group. Click the drop-down arrow and select Weighted by Category. Enable Show Overall Grade to Students if you want them to view Overall Grade. At the bottom, click Add Grade Category. Note that grade categories must add up to 100%. Enter the grade category and percentage. So for example, this is Quiz with 40%. Add another grade category, which is let's say Assignment. For 60%. At the upper right side of the page, click the Save button. Now, how do we organize or categorize classwork? Go to the classwork page. Click the three dot symbol located on the right side of the classwork that you want to categorize. Then select Edit. Notice that on the right side, there is additional field available, and that is Grade Category. So we simply click the drop-down arrow 
Since this is assignment, we'll choose assignment. Then click save. Do the same for other classwork. For example, this is quiz number one. Let's click the three dot symbol and edit. For the category, let's select quiz and then save. In the classwork page, notice that there is a category name in each classwork that you edited. Now let's explore the grades page. The grades page contains a table that has the name of the student, overall grade, and the score for every classwork. It's important that all classwork must be returned to the student in order for all the scores to be included in the computation. Classwork that are not categorized will not be included in the computation. For example, here I have two formative questions that will not be included in the computation. This ends our three-part video series about Google Classroom. I hope that you learned and will be able to use Google Classroom soon. To those who have used this before, I hope that this served as a review. For feedback, please write your comments below the YouTube video. I will appreciate all your comments. If my videos have been helpful, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. More videos to come that will help us in addressing the new normal, especially in education.